Ed is here, and it just made me cry having our kids up here. And you know, what Pete Seeger said, when these, and we're getting there because he's arthritis, when these fingers can strum no longer, pass the old guitar to the young ones strong. Well, we'll see that soon. <laughs> so we hope we can inspire you today, and one thing we want to talk about is that, that the idea of um, uh, shifting uh, bass lines, and um, some bass lines have never shift, shifted. For instance, how many of you know what week it is? By what's being served in the dining room, what day it is by what's being served in the dining room. How many people have their favorite uh, meal as taco, one of the taco or a two decades, Taco Tuesday, he still gets excited. <laughs> but one thing that comes along with this, and I think one thing that needs to shift in education, and we are all doing that shift, we are all making that shift, and that is, rather than educating for just a career, which so much of our education has been focused on, let's educate to follow passions. If we can teach kids to follow their passion, like you all are doing right now, following our passions and creating and having a sense of purpose in the world of I'm gonna do something for the world and make this a better planet. And that's what we did when we took our music and I hope all of you can find that passion in you like what we did 30 years ago and we were able to make a career with music and, but because that career in music was successful is because we held on to that period of purpose and we followed that passion and, um, and made that happen. Yeah, so um, that's part of the message we'd like to give you this this uh, for this conference, and we'll come back and talk some more. But we also have some more songs. We do, and I just want to say the one thing about the making a living. I know some of your many of the naturalists think, well, this is a short-lived possibility. How am I going to actually pull this off and make this be a long-term commitment and an actual career? And I'm here to tell you it can be done. Yeah. I'm here to tell you it can be done. And I talk to young kids about it all the time. And I say, you got to pick the thing you're going to love in this life. And what better thing to love than this planet? And another friend of mine, an old naturalist, said, what better thing to be, than to be paid to be outdoors? Be outdoors and share your passion and love for it. And I tell you, there, there is a way. There's a way. I mean, Believe me, I didn't go to college and say, I'm going to be a slug when I grow up. <laughs> you know, so I'm just here to tell you that it can happen, you can make it happen, and uh, you gotta, you got to be a little flexible on the feet and be thinking through it, but it's, it's a possibility, it's a strong possibility, so keep to it. Don't think this is some short-term experience for yourself. You can make it real for the rest of your life. All right, well, we're going to uh, bring out a friend of ours. You know, some people have said that we like to dress up. <laughs> so we're going to bring out a friend uh, from, the, from the ocean, because we all live down near Santa Cruz, and uh, we have a, a crab friend of ours we call Louie the Crab. Crab Louie. Crab Louie, yeah. So we'd like to bring him out now. So we're going to do a little song, bring out Crab Louie. You like crabs, right? Yeah. You probably have never seen one maybe this big. It's a huge crap. Check it out. You see this really well if you were feeling crap at any time of last month. You release all your anxiety. Well, let it go. So just let it go.
all together go crab, 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 crab. Get a picture up now, here we go. Crab in the kingdom of the crab. Give me some attitude, come on. Sing it with me. In the kingdom of the crab. Yeah. Stop for the Rebel Over. Yeah. Rebel Side. Yeah.